Why hello there, welcome back to my channel. It is of course Chelsea of She Designs Things. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing the controversial web designer who does not want to create wedding websites for LGBTQ plus clients. I don't want this to be a talking head video. I want this to be more so of a resource video. And so I might have an opinion um, but I will try to limit my comments, although it's quite tricky for me to do so as, you know, this is my platform and just like the designer has a right to deny service, I live in a country where I have the freedom of speech. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into the video. Alright, so for those of you unfamiliar with this story, Presently, the designer of this site and various other sites named Lori does not want to design LGBTQ plus wedding websites. Now, I mean, that is 100% her choice. However, in Colorado, it is actually a violation of their state laws to deny service to someone based on their sexual orientation. Uh, her belief is that she is of Christian faith, and because she's of Christian faith, it goes against what she believes in. Now, I'm no person, I'm not going to give any judgment, you know, because obviously I'm a web designer but I will say that I find the argument to be kind of strange because when I looked at her designs I wasn't able to find any indication that she actually designed wedding websites so this argument to me seems way out of left field maybe one person asked her and she was like you know no sorry I can't do it but most people who are in the LGBTQ plus community understand that not everyone is welcoming to their life or to the person that they choose to love and they're not going to want to work with someone anyway like i don't care how beautiful your designs are no one wants to work with someone who doesn't accept them for who they are so for me it just didn't make any sense to have this be such a public argument when it seems that she does not design websites for weddings. When you find a designer who designs websites for weddings, it's very prominent. It's something that they often show off on their website. And I just, I don't know, I found it to be kind of strange. Um, obviously you can see her site is overloaded because there's probably a lot of people going to her site. So it is very slow to load right now. Um, but I'm just saying it's odd to me that someone who I literally found nothing to support her claim that she designs wedding websites. So that's the hard part. Now, it is what it is. It's personal preference when it comes to design. I personally don't like her style of design, even if I wasn't a designer myself. I just I'm not a huge fan of overly saturated or um, chaotic style sites um, and then certain fonts I'm not a fan of so it is subjective but it is without it goes without saying you know teach his own teach his own most of her designs seem to be around faith-based non-profit or go government organizations that is a 1000% her choice of what she wants to create but it's just infuriating to me because I was not able to find anything to support her claim about marriages. And considering there are entire website builders who actually do create websites for the LGBTQ plus community, this just seems like a battle that was created for the sake of creating it. It just seems like a ridiculous fallacy <laughs> that's been thrown out in the media to make a spectacle or even just to drum up you know, promotion of her business. I would never, ever, ever 
do something like that myself. And I'm not a person of faith. I am a spiritualist. I believe that everybody's faith is, everybody has a right to their religion and nobody should be pressured to believe something that they don't want to. That's including if she doesn't want to provide services to the LGBTQ plus community. This is also why I take such offense to a lot of the laws that are regressive towards individualism and human rights like seriously but let's not get into the political side of things i want to offer those resources to you all who are in the lgbtq plus community who are looking for resources with the uptick in crime that's happening not only just to the lgbtq plus community but to the jewish community to women in general to uh islamic phobia Everything that's occurring, I think it's important that you know that there is a designer out there who you don't have to be like, oh my god, I'm if I say this, if I look this way, I wore hijab, I don't wear one anymore. I mean, I am a person of color, I'm a woman. There is a LGBTQ plus confirming affirmation on my website. I have a client who is a Jewish therapist who is also queer and you know it is what it is i have a client a major client who is a christian woman and none of us it it's arbitrary you know it's just really ridiculous the way people are behaving um to their common sister or brother or they them so Let's just get into your resources so that I'm able to show you what's out there and why these are better options for you other than trying to hunt down an actual web designer. So I found this amazing article on websites. Websites is actually one of the website builders that I am going to recommend. Um, while I do create you know, various Google sites. I do create wedding websites and you're also able to get a wedding website inside of Google if you prefer. Um, it is a series that I'm working on that I haven't put out yet, but that's because I'm really, really meticulous on my designs and I want to make sure I put something out that is going to be comprehensive. But anyways, I digress. Um, this is just a really great article. I'm going to link it down below. It, it gives you the pros and cons of these website builders from this website builder's perspective. So it's kind of funny, um, but they do list a lot of the ones that I'm going to mention today. So first up, we have Joy. I actually found Joy um, because of another web designer. So anyways, I digress because as you can see, it I've used it just playing around with it because I wanted to see um, when I'm testing how to design a, a wedding website, like what brides need, what grooms need, what, what do you need to keep track as a wedding planner, what would you do? And I actually really, really liked Joy. Um, as you can see, you can have so many things that integrate with it, such as um, your ride sharing and hotel booking and your save the dates and send reminders and it comes with little applications and your guest list and your invitations and it's super comprehensive and i really like the design of their homepage website as you can see it's really 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 cute um with that scrolling parallax effect i really like that that's really cute um and I like that their their homepage is really inclusive. And if you look in the video, you don't just have like your regular standard Christian weddings. Um, there's LGBTQ, lesbian. There's also people of um, other cultures who get married. And so their traditional way of getting married, like these two individuals here, are completely different from your regular standard American wedding. So I really like Joy and I think it's probably my number one pick for those of you who are out there getting married or looking to plan your wedding and even as a wedding planner maybe take a look at it it's really cute shoo i might actually you know apply for a job with joy they seem dope and i can design templates with them <laughs> The next one is Riley and Gray. Riley and Gray is also a really cute website designer building. Um, I just really like 
the simplistic clean look as you can see it's very similar to how Google's sites are as t in terms of like centering everything um, on the screen so if you like this more <clears throat> traditional web design style centered not spanned across then definitely go ahead and take a look at Riley in gray I've never actually used it but um, from what I can read it seems pretty cool so it wants me to put in my information right now and I don't really want to do that just to show you the design so that's kind of making me sad but it is free <laughs> but definitely take a look at that article that I sent in in the bottom of the video so that you can see the pros and cons as long as as well as the cost and then that brings me to my next one this is the knot the knot is known for just wedding things in general this is the hub of weddings everybody and their mama knows about the knot as a professional photographer if i were to do weddings the knot is where i would want my wedding photos to end up i would want everyone to see it but because i do branding and mostly boudoir photographs i generally won't be on the knot <laughs> so weddings events and boudoir i'm not going to be anywhere on here but if i was this is one of the best places to find resources for those of you who are looking to get hitched the knot also has their own website builder so if you are interested and you want to kind of see how they do things definitely take a look all right so here we have zola zola is a well-known wedding um website builder so it is one of those platforms where you know you can put in your information makes it really simple really easy to use you know it's just your website builder <laughs> you can have your registry much like joy but i think joy has a little bit more pros than um zola does it's just personal preference if you're gonna have a larger wedding um do you want to have more control over things are there things that you didn't think to do so i'll definitely leave a link down to all of these wedding websites information here we have minted now you might be ferment for fermented <laughs> you might be familiar with minted um if you shop at target and you buy any of their um cards because they have a whole minted collection in there so minted also has a wedding website builder what's great about using mint minted is that you can also have um your you know calendars made or save the dates or any of that um information as well can be created inside of a minted so i really do like the way that minted looks and it's just so 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 cute and they have such unique designs see love it love it and you can work with some of their designers and they have amazing programs down here as you can see their partners affiliate photographer all that kind of stuff i might have to jump in on this <laughs> All right, so last but not least, here is the project that I've been working on inside of Google Sites. Like I said, it's a work in progress. I really want it to be um, comprehensive and, a, and way more robust than I have it. Um, it's just a little plain for my taste, a little boring, doesn't have much pizzazz. Uh, but that's because I'm just really trying to see maybe somebody wants a clean look. Maybe they want it to look more um, sophisticated. I don't know. I'm just playing around with it. So here is that mobile view. Um, these are PNG images, but I would like to do something a little bit different so that it's actually read by a screen reader. I'm thinking of doing something with custom HTML. Um, and then at the bottom here, if you are able to make it or if you can't make it, when you can't make it, if you click on it, it'll redirect you to this. Oh no, we're sorry, you can't make it. Um, so the only thing I haven't done in here and I need to do is create a database so that when someone is not able to attend and you select that you are not able to attend, it notifies, puts the notification in the database and marks it as you're not able to attend. Now, there are several, 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 several ways I can do this and make it easy. I can link it to a spreadsheet, however the case may be, um, but I do want it to be, you know, really robust. So I, I haven't really decided on what I want to do yet, which is why I haven't put this out yet. This is using, um, what's that thing called? 
male or light <laughs> uh, but you can use pretty much any database here that you want if you would like to have an RSVP so this is the RSVP with the information towards the bottom and then I also just so you know if you use a Microsoft you can definitely embed a Microsoft um, what do you call this form into your Google site and this is what it'll look like and I'll show you a full screen so this is actually um, the wedding invitation save the date headcount this is included with your Microsoft account so you are able to add in that Microsoft form if you prefer the look of Microsoft forms and and just so you guys know at the bottom of my web designs my footers always have this right here which is my LGBTQ plus affirming business stamp you will find this on the bottom of all websites that I create um, if someone tells me oh I don't want it on there I'm going to say, well, you can remove it, but I will not remove it um, just because, again, it is my design and what I do on my templates for my for my public. Like if you were to approach me and say to build you a website, it is not something that I naturally add. Um, it is something that you will have to request uh, and obvi for obvious reasons. I'm not going to ask it. I'm not going to ask you to if you want to have it. You will have to tell me if it's something that you would like to have in the footer of your business. So I do hope that was helpful. <laughs> All right. So I know this video was very different from what I usually create, but I thought it necessary being a designer and someone who um, designs websites. While I do not design wedding websites, and I honestly don't think that designer does either, it is what it is, teach his own, I do want you to know that there are resources out there for you. And if you are looking to have a wedding website designed for your business, feel free to reach out to me and I can definitely um, schedule some time to go over your business needs with you. And if you're getting married and you want to use any of those website builder platforms that I mentioned, but you want to have your own design, feel free to reach out to me and I can also design inside of those website builders for you as well. All right. So while this video again was different, I thank you so much for paying this much attention and I do hope that you have a happy rest of your year <laughs> or day and uh, yeah, laters. <laughs>